Chris Burr, former two-time heavyweight champion. He is the pride of Flint, Michigan. The heavyweight no one wants to face, Chris Burr. Hi, I'm Chris Burr with the Bird's Eye View. Today, I got a special treat. Flint, Michigan zone, Andre Durrell. What's going on? What's, What's going, going on? You, Chris Bird, this it's is, good to see this you. This is my day. This is my day. I've been seeing this since he was little. Oh, yeah, baby. Little. Yeah, baby. Him and Anthony. Hey, how's everything? What you getting ready for now? Because this um, is what the fans want to know. Mm -hmm. Where's Andre the real? Where, where has he been? Well, he, it all started off with the Abraham fight. I've been off two years, neurological problem. Um, coming back into it, you know, I did my thing with Al for a fight that didn't work out and uh, fell in there. People don't realize I want to fight just as much as they want to see me, you know what I'm saying? But the opportunity has just been so small, you know what I'm saying? And, and me getting my outside of the ring situation together yeah. was just a little difficult, you know what I'm saying? Come on! I came about meeting uh, um, Floyd and 50 Cent and, uh, and uh, fortunately signed up, signed up with 50 Cent. And uh, we've been trying to get my fights uh, kicking off ever since. And now my date is set for November, I mean, January 26th. Okay. And that'll be in Texas. Yeah. That'll be in Texas. Okay. That, I mean, that's good to hear. That's what fans want to, they want to know when you're going to fight. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You started at what age, boxing? Um, I started working out at five, six, seven years old. But my first fight, I was 10. 10 years yeah, old. 10 years old. Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan. So, so first how gym, was it, I wasn't so. growing up, I wasn't growing up in Flint. Um, for you. I know how it was for me. I'm in Flint, too. <laughs> Listen, we didn't have a father figure. My grandfather stepped in. Uh -huh. At first, I hated the gym. I didn't know how you felt about boxing, but me, I hated it. My grandfather came. I tried to hide under the bed. Didn't work. He pulled me, gravitated me toward boxing. I got in the groove of things, man, and um, I just started loving it, man. But with Flint, that, that's what really kept me motivated because it was so bad. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And, yeah. and that's been, I know. And that's been ever since I've been growing up, yeah. so I've never really seen the lighter side of Flint, the good side yeah. of Flint. You know what I'm saying? But I've always seen the potential in family videos, you know what I'm saying, looking at um, past shows and stuff like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I believe Flint can still be, you know, a, a positive city on the map, and hopefully we can build that up because we got a lot of hidden talent in Flint, not only yeah. there, but schools and, and everything otherwise. So hopefully we can build it back up, man. But Flint is what motivates me. Yeah. It's Flint, Michigan. It is. It I is. Mean, it's, it's Flint, it's Michigan. Flint, it's Michigan. bad. It's bad. It's life right yeah, now. Man. Yeah, it is. And yeah, the, it, 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 it's such. It's such a depression, man. Like, I'm not talking just houses, man. I'm talking about the mindsets of, yeah. our, of our urban community, oh, the urban, yeah. urban culture. It's just all bad, man. And I'm really just hoping to bring something back, man. And if I'm to start, then so be it, man. I just want to build a really big foundation for Flint, Michigan, to lead off of. Yeah, that that'd be great. And so through boxing through starting mm -hmm. and being in Flint, mm -hmm. you traveled. I mean, you got to the level of high amateur status, yeah. then you start traveling. Yeah. You know, how was that for you? Before you made the Olympic team, you traveled a lot. Yeah, yeah. Being from Flint, Michigan, <laughs> and what I'm saying is, I did the same thing. Right. From poor, you know, situation, yeah. then start yeah. traveling because we can box. How was that traveling for you? It, man, from day one, it was experience. I remember my very first trip out of Michigan, and that was Ohio. You know what I'm saying? We went down for <laughs> Maybe, oh, it was just a show fight, but eventually Ohio became our second home. We did a lot of fights down yeah. there. Then we drifted off. I was 13 years old. We went off far down to Florida to fight for the pal. I lost that tournament, but hey, I was happy to be in Florida. Yeah. Went to Disney World. Yeah. The fights was there. You know, yeah. a kid couldn't ask for nothing better. So I figured boxing, man, really take me places, man. And since then, I've been, like you said, all yeah, over the country. the world, though. The world, all, all over, over the world, man. That's and And looking back on it, as a youngster, I took a lot of it for granted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because once you turn professional, you don't go overseas yeah. as much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you do go, it's not the same situation. Yeah. You had a lot of fun with the camp. You had a lot of fun memories, man. You know what I'm saying? So I enjoyed every bit of it, man. I wouldn't change nothing in my life, man. I believe God set this the way it is for yeah. a reason. And I'm going, I'm moving forward, and I'm loving my life right now, man. I mean, that's great. And then you had Olympic experience. Exactly. I mean, you got to go make the Twice Olympic Twice, pretty team, much. Twice, pretty much. Go in there, yeah. do your thing, yeah. winning a bronze medal. Yeah. Look, and, yeah. I, and I have to tell you, I think I told you many times, mm -hmm. I cried when you lost. Man, I, I, I wanted you. To, I wanted you to do better than me. I was I want a silver, you, you got yeah, a bronze. Yeah, and that's the same like, way uh, I think. That's the same way I think. I've been pushing Clarissa Shields from day one, man. Oh, yeah. She's a Flint Michigan, Clarissa Shields. Flint Michigan, Clarissa Shields. She's our gold medalist, man. I've been so happy for that. You know what I'm saying? I think Flint is fortunate for that as well, man. That's yes. the beginning of something big, oh, most yeah. definitely, man, because yeah. I know she influenced a lot of the youngsters to go out there and try to be the best they can be, man. But 
Yeah, my, that's the same kind of mindset I got. I'm just all positive, man, no matter yeah. what you're doing, man. As long as it's positive, as long as you're trying to help out the city, then that's all I pretty much care about, man. I want to see any and everybody do great for yeah. Michigan so we can bring something Me back too. there. Me too. Yep. That, that's great. And then we're going to fast forward a little bit now to your professional mm -hmm, career. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you did well in your professional career. Or, I'm sorry, you doing well doing in your well. professional career. Exactly. I'm exactly. sorry about that. All good. But doing good beating guys, getting to a certain level, and mm -hmm. then the Super 6 come up. Mm -hmm. Super 6, mm -hmm. top 6 That's right. super middleweights in the world. That's right. And they paired off, and it's a tournament. Mm -hmm. And now you're doing well, and you, but you fight Carl Frotch. Mm -hmm. your first, that was your first loss. My first loss. Controversial, but you know yeah. I thought you won. Everybody, yeah, definitely. You know, and a lot of people thought you won. How was your reaction to that, and how you, your mindset after that fight? The first one, the, at first it was devastating. It was pretty bad, man. I went home, I'm like, where my career going to end up now? I'm in the long play ride home. Uh -huh. It was twice as long on the way yeah, home. It was in, it was England. The way there. in and England. It was in England. It was in his hometown against all odds, man. And I did a hell of a job. You know, yeah. I look back. I look back at it, man. I did the best I could. I took it as a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? I don't dwell on it because you can't get nothing from the past. Yeah. You can only learn from it, so I'm just moving forward with that. You know what I'm saying? But... I figured all my life, man, I had a tough road. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I feel like God puts his toughest battles, he saves his toughest battles for his strongest soldiers, man. So, like I said, I'm here for a reason, man. Frost was a great experience. Abraham was a great experience. Yeah, so I that's your next top. fight in the yep. Super Six. Yep. Abraham. Yep. Yep. I fought and then the outcome of that was was exactly was great. Exactly. I mean, you did great and got the win, but it wasn't uh -huh. good as far as the injury. And, 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 it, and it's something you see in boxing a lot, and it's not disciplined enough, but I feel like... When you got a pure boxer in the ring, yeah. that's outclassing, whether he's a world champion, whether he's a, a fighter that has great expectations. When, when you when the pure boxer gets in the ring and he embarrasses him like that, just like Floyd did, just like Floyd did um, um Victor Ortiz. Yeah. You saw him yeah, yeah, headbutt him at the yep. end. You know what I'm saying? Get frustrated. People not fighting you because you was just too yep. good, too slick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They put boxers in a situation where they feel like that. This is not what the sport is about, and that's yeah. what the sport is called, boxing. Boxing, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's first and foremost. So when you see a guy gets a measly point taken away from jumping in yeah. his head into a guy simply for outboxing. Yeah. You see that all too often. The situation with me and Abraham, outclassed him. I dropped him. Yep. I outboxed yep. him. He found a way out. He took it. And, and, and fighters aren't penalized enough for that, man, because I feel like boxing is boxing. That's exactly what it's called. It's yeah. boxing first. And then you got your brawlers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you got your... Just all out fighters. Then yeah. you got mediocre fighters. Yeah, you know we what can saying? respect but, them all, but yeah, you know, it's boxing. It is boxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's difficult to take the situations that they that they give guys who who, who are dirty, the penalize the penalizations that they give them, you know, it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's it should be pressed more upon, it should be done, something more should be done because when you simply outclass somebody, they that's nothing short of perfection, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's bad. I got it with Frotz, too. He headbutted me, yeah. hold me. He did everything, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, but it, it comes with the territory. I said it's a learning experience. I'll live with it. You know what I'm saying? But I know if it happens again next time, I won't be so polite about the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about, about your relationship with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. 50 Cent being the promoter mm -hmm. now for you and other or a few other fighters. And how's it working out for you? Because because before you say that, because people, this is people talking. Mm -hmm. Well, Andre the Real haven't fought in, in 12 months. Right. He ain't fought in 12 months. What is the promoter doing for right, him? Right, right. But now you could you say it here exactly. and stand up for him and, well, listen, and see what's happening. It's, it's Like I said, it's been the situation from day one. I've only been with uh, 50 Cent for maybe three months now. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And that's been going, and that's been going great, man. He's actually aired me in one of his music videos. Um, he's figuring out ways already to keep me in the limelight outside of boxing. But first and foremost, we're talking boxing. So he has a lot in store for me, man. We're kicking off this first fight January 26th in okay. Texas. And then we're looking to come right back March 16th. Uh, hopefully that's a go. But uh, every situation at hand, we're looking for the biggest stations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The biggest fights. We're chasing them now, man. And 50's been on top of it. From day one, man, he's a, so he's a hell of a so guy. So you're saying he's a great, he's a he's great, great businessman. Great yeah. businessman. Go, was, gonna be a great promoter then. Definitely, definitely. Okay. No question about it, man. I'm loving the situation I'm in right now. If I didn't, I would say so. You know what I'm saying? People see Al Heyman as one of the best, you know what I'm saying, promoters, advisors, yeah. whatever you want to call them, you know what I'm saying, out there. And I left him. You know what I'm saying? That just goes to show if it's something I don't tolerate, then, 
you know what I'm saying? Hopefully I can get the back door, you know what I'm saying? So, but so far, people be doing a hell of a job, man, and I'm really satisfied of where I'm at. But nevertheless, whatever the outcome is with me and him, I know I'm going to work hard enough to get world championships. No matter how long it takes, I know I'll be on top very soon. Yeah, definitely. So at 168, mm -hmm. you got Andre Ward. Mm -hmm. But Carl Froch is again, again. You know I mean, the man up there. He always yeah, give shows. Give him his props. It. He, he always shows. He's it. doing his thing. He's fighting. It. He's yeah. learning how to. I mean, mm -hmm. he's knowing how to win, doing his thing. And you right there in the, in, on the cusp of being that greatness at the, the top of that weight class. Mm -hmm. Who are you looking to fight out of those two after you, you know, get your little your work in, get you a title. Yeah. And. Who is the main two? Because that's because I've been your boy from the Olympics. You know, it really, it really, it really doesn't matter. But on the other hand, it does. You know what I'm saying? Because you see, Frotch, he has what two losses now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can give me one. My grandfather deemed it cheated, but never defeated. So I go off of that. You know, I know yeah. I never really lost a fight in my career. But when you see a, a fighter like me with all the skills, all the potential, and you got all the fans saying, "Does he got it in here?" Yeah. Yeah. Is he going to perform it when it's time to when it's time to dig down? You know what I'm saying? Then you got Andre Ward, who's been outclassing every yeah. fight he's got in there with. So I see that potential mega fight. I don't see it with me and Frotch because Frotch, they know how to beat Frotch now. You've seen Frotch be beaten. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm looking for my rematch with Frotch. Hopefully that can come soon. Like you said, I want to get a championship first, maybe two. It yeah. all depends. But I want to build myself up. I can't just jump over there, being at the stage I'm in now and the stage they're at now. Yeah. I want to earn my spot as well. You know what I'm saying? So whatever right. I got to go through to get to them two, and that's what I'll do. Build up, fight Frotch, get that world title from him, and hopefully me and Andre Ward, and we can see a mega fight one day. Oh, that'd it's, be great, man. Yeah, that'd be great for definitely. boxing fans. It will. Two's Skilled guy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. same Olympic team. Yep, yep. Both of them. They've been wanting to see it from day one. They've been wanting Everybody to see it. Everybody wants to see that. Yep, and, it, so. and it's all just business. It's, it's all, I know it's great love mm -hmm. between y'all two. Yeah, just yeah he's a good dude. He is a good dude. Man, in the middle of your workout, I thank you. Yeah, no problem Mid at all. Look, this is the middle of his workout. <laughs> he stopped for this. <laughs> I'm going to get it How done. How great today. is that? And he I'm gonna put it in the work. Flint Town's on, Flint man. We're going to get it, man. We're going to get it, most definitely. Flint Town. Clarissa Shield, mm -hmm. gold medalist, 165. Chris Bird, myself, 165, silver medalist, bronze medalist, Andre Durrell, Durrell, 165. I think Flip Michigan in the world want to see a little tournament. Definitely. I ain't fight. <laughs> <laughs> he can even go against Clarissa Shield. He better keep his hands up. I'm hard. telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming. She's coming. I want to plant that. I want to plaster that picture. <laughs> on the billboard. All three of us All standing three on the of podium. Flint, podium Michigan. Man. I think I'm going to bring that to Flint, Michigan. We're going to bring it to Flint, we're Michigan. It's so it. nice, man. But like we're I said, man, Flint Town's in the house, man. Flint we're looking, to, we're looking to be on the way up. Nowhere but up. This you know. is the bird's eye view. Thank you for watching. Check us out every week. You'll see something new, something different, something exciting. Thank you very much. Love you, man. Oh, yeah. Love you too, Chris. Next week on the Bird's Eye View, we're going to have on light heavyweight champion Chad Dawson.